welcome back to Adventuring with Angie. Last week I hosted a mini retreat with some friends, I built new storage for my winter firewood supply, and I sat with some personal growth. This week I feel like an alchemist as I integrate these new learnings into my life, I'm continuing to build on the land, and I'm welcoming in a new era for myself. I woke up Monday feeling the depths of my changes as an unexpected loneliness swept over me. I'm not feeling lonely as in, oh, I don't have anyone to hang out with. I'm feeling lonely as in, I'm doing this huge thing that I want to do with people, but I'm doing it alone. I love having my friends up here and every time they visit, it's a good time. But also when they leave, I'm reminded that these are the things that I want to do all the time. I want to have weekly dinners with people here and I want to have sporadic retreats and moments to heal. I want to have intentional gatherings and workshops and midnight mass and moonlight dinners. I, I know I said it last week that I really want to build this out communally and I don't want to put it all on me to build it now. And I feel like this week it's coming up loud enough that I don't think I can ignore this anymore. I know that means I have to get out there to meet people. I have to push myself, even though it's been a little bit of a challenge. And I guess I've been a little scared and hesitant. And as I kind of work through some of these feelings, I'm just thinking that I need to be brave and I need to do it. And I need to close some chapters because I have to be here. And I find myself more often than not dancing through the past and I don't want to do that anymore. And it's funny that I'm saying this because I woke up Monday, I really felt that everything was about to change and it absolutely is. I moved through my weekly chores with ease and broke full focus when I found out my ex wanted to come by. Today, as in like, in the next few hours. While I really am thrilled for them to get their things and get them out of the house, I didn't know if I could handle seeing them. I spent two hours entirely distracted and fully planned to leave the house, but at the very last moment, something told me to stay. After she cleared her items, I asked if we could talk, and I'm so glad that we did. We both got to share our apologies and our hurt, and in an unexpected way, I got to release some of this anger that I've been holding. After 4.5 years with her, my last memory and conversation was in Japan, and that experience had taken over my entire view of our entire relationship. I didn't even realize that I needed a moment to stop and see that she's still a human being and a person that I loved deeply. We spent some time actually laughing over life and how the hell we ended up here, and then we said our goodbye Eyes. Not exactly clear if we're going to cross paths again, but open to it down the line. People talk about closure and how we don't need to seek it externally, that we can close these doors ourselves. And I do think that we can, but I had closed it and boxed myself into a world of anger. And as I let the memories of us fester, I could only see the pain, which I realize now was hurting me in an entirely different way. I'm grateful that my gut suggested that I stay and be brave. You always need that photo for social. Oh, that's good. That's good. My job right now, I'm gonna build a little platform for the toilet to sit on. And Oval's over here laughing at me. He's gonna frame a window so people can crack a window in the bathroom. Teamwork, teamwork. Thursdays are becoming a real nice constant in my world these days. And after an emotional start to the week, I couldn't be more thrilled to just build and chill with Oval today. I know there's a version of me that wishes I worked more consistently on this build and would just finish it already, but I keep finding myself combating that mindset, reminding myself that I don't have an urgency to build this, that I simply want to learn how to do these things and I want to have some fun. No, I built a box. That's cool, right? I think it's so important that we actively rewrite the narratives that keep us feeling less than our full selves. I look at every build day as a class almost. I'm gonna learn a little bit, I'm gonna build a little bit, and I'm gonna have fun doing it. Night run, why?
I'm really enjoying the change in seasons and being somewhere that has these distinct moments in the year. It's like, as the weather shifts, so do I, along with my routines and my rituals. Back in the Bay, we have the same weather almost all year round, and because of that, I find myself doing what feels like pretty much the same things all year round. Witnessing these apples fall from the trees and the leaves stiffen under their new amber glow, it's reminding me of the life forces all around me here, the energy of this land, what drew me in, and the new spaces opening and closing with the shift. I get excited thinking about the transition, and I also hear loud and clear that change is all around. But maybe more importantly, winter is coming. I'm noticing how it's easier to say no to the things that leave me feeling less than and how excited I get saying yes to the things that infuse me with life and warmth. I spent the remainder of the weekend saying yes to whatever else called me. I ran a little bit and moved my body. I cooked so many delicious meals to nourish myself. And I spent a little bit more time with someone who made me smile. I was not sure what to expect for myself after the start of my week, but in trusting that I'll continue to put myself first, every scenario feels new and exciting and I want to keep witnessing how I'm showing up for myself and for others. Mm. Yes. Thank you for joining me for another week of adventures. We went deep into the feelings this week, and if anything I shared resonated or you just liked the episode, please click that like button and subscribe so you don't miss anything. Mm. Oh God. Next week, I'm opening up to new people, welcoming Kyle and Jared back for some work and fun, and leaning into everything the fall is giving. I can't wait to share more, and I'll see you next week. Bye.